here again. Uh, we are starting a, uh, you know, a new format here, and I do just want to get a couple of, um, you know, housekeeping items out of the way. Uh, first and foremost, I apologize. I know in some of the videos you probably heard some background audio and things like that. In moving to kind of a new office and everything, um, we're, we're getting all sorted out and, uh, you know, making sure that production values and things like that are, you know, up and running to the standard that they should be. So you're going to be seeing a lot better quality videos coming out here as well as a lot better quality audio and, and everything like that. Um, second thing that we're going to see here, excuse me, Summer, I'm trying to, uh, you know, trying to speak here. Um, second thing as well, I do want to apologize again profusely. The first episode of this series is going to be a little rough production-wise because recording it, it's so old that it's a little bit difficult. But we've gotten that all sorted out. Game's going to be looking good from here on. Please go through and watch all the VODs if you like everything that we've done so far here. Um, you know, that helps the series and helps it to continue. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead here. Uh, last time we left off, we were in the town of Lothering now. Uh, we've got Alistair, Summer, uh, the Mabari Hound, who I've named. Morgan is with us. Uh, and then obviously my, my hero here, Balthazar. Uh, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to re-equip everybody. Let's see what we got. Uh, Surveyor, I could use that. Warden's Oath, two constitution. Alistair could use that. I can only use that. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, so give that to myself. Uh, we'll give Alistair this heirloom necklace, because why the hell not? Uh, runic worry token, huh? Alright, Morgan. I am going to give you these. Because these are... Wow, look at her. Ooh, boobies. Uh, oh, Lord. Um, Alright, and then we can't... Yeah, alright, that'll be fine. We're going to head in. Oh. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Hello. Go on if you can. Lothering's lost. Uh, do you know about the bandits outside of the village? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Uh... Thanks for the warning. Best of luck, wherever you might go. No, we're, we're going to be here. It's okay. just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Wonderful. Uh, what's over here? Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Uh, let's see. Why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Uh, let's see... Mm, don't you think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Let's see. Uh, I think you can compromise and still make a profit. No? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. All right, Morgan disapproves. Minus three, of course she does. What do you have? I suppose you're looking to buy something. I am. All right, just don't buy everything up. 
Wonderful. All right, so we're going to sell him these. Sell him all these coatings because we can't use them. Sell him the ice salve, grounding, all this stuff. Uh, does this do more than what I got? No. Dark Spawn Dagger, Dark Masseuse Dagger. We need that. All right, pretty much just getting rid of everything. We can get rid of that, that. We're going to keep... Oh, no. Uh, you know what? That's all right. We can, we're going to sell one of these. All right, and then we can sell those. I'm going to keep those. Uh, we will sell this, this, Morgan's robes. Uh, okay. Cool. Now, let's see. You should have... Ah, right here. And it has a rune slot. Very good. And then armor-wise, what do you have? Scale armor? Eh, I have better. Well, about the same. Um, steel helmet, but eh, who cares? Okay. So we're going to then equip that there. And I want to put that... Oh, I guess we, we can't enchant yet. Lovely. And we'll go to this board. So I shall. Bandits. Bandits everywhere. No oh, God, this guy. Who who are you, sir? The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at Darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Uh, let's see. Why don't you keep your voice down? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Um, you poor man. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn. Uh, it must have been horrible. How did you escape? No, I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by Darkspawn. I'm not evil. Please, won't you talk to me? I ran, hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. Uh, scaring these people won't get her back. You... you are right. I will go. Good. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Uh, there's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die, either. We must go north to Denerim. I believe that means they're going north to Denerim. Lovely. Okay. Gonna move in here. Give me one sec. I just need to check one thing. Okay, let me just make sure. Alright, very good. Everything's looking good. Alright, uh, so we're gonna go <clears throat> this way. There is kind of an order of operations that you have to do things in here. I'm cold. I oh. don't have you seen my mother? Uh you poor thing. Did you and your mother get separated? Some mean men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Uh, let's see. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. Uh, 
Let's see. Come with me. I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Ah, uh, go to the chantry, child. Someone will look after you. I will, but only if I don't find mother first. So, um, are you really an elf? Ah, uh, did the ears give me away? Father says elves aren't very nice. But you're nicer than everybody here. Thank you for helping me. Okay. So we will Stop run on. Stop at me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. And he persists. Maddening. <gasps> Wonderful. Don't be mean to my damn dog. What's wrong with you? Alright, there's something over here we can loot. Wooden crate. Longbow, you. Okay. So we're gonna head in here. I said yesterday. Oh. Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Well, figure out what that is. Urn of sacred well, ashes, huh? Look what we have here, man. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt surely. the poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Excuse me? Let's see. Looks like he wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. Right. Let's make this quick. All right. Well, I do need to make sure I watch my health. I've gotten pretty bad with that because, you know, I'm not used to I forget after playing a Bioware RPG. Okay. Now this should be amusing. Let's cut these turkeys up. Another battle, I Where's oh, we're gonna we're gonna cut these turkeys up. Yes, everyone, just look on. Good. Hell yeah. Then their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Wonderful. Uh the Grey Wardens and you know what? Take a message to Logan. what do you want to tell him? The Grey Wardens know what happened. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering. But I couldn't just sit by and not help. Uh, let's see. And who are you, anyhow? No. Uh, I appreciate what you tried to do. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Uh, I am Balthazar. A pleasure. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf, but elves must want the blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Oh! <laughs> Lovely, you are. Okay. Uh, I will need help, that's true. Uh... That, and the Maker wants me to go with you. Uh, the Maker's on my side? Well, welcome aboard, then. Then... You believe me? I knew the Maker had said a true dream. A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Hey! Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Wonderful. Uh, so we're going to replace the dog with her for right now, Indeed. just because unfortunately the dog isn't super useful. Uh, ever. Really. And that sucks, cause he's uh he's definitely a cool companion. All right, um, so for her, I give her the U longbow, cause she is an archer. Uh, and then we'll, for second, we'll give her a dagger. But yeah, okay, I do have it at that. Uh, and then we also need to give her armor. We'll give her studded leather armor. No, actually, we'll give her Dalish armor. Uh, and then we'll give her studded leather gloves. 